Hey chaps, it's going to be flight two of the grasshopper. It's going to be on a slightly rougher surface. It's nice and calm. No wind to speak about. There's a dog walk over the back, we just avoid that. Right, that's hands off guys. Does need, like I said on the last video, it does need a little bit more grunt than it's got. I'm going to land. And just change the expo slightly on the ailerons. If it wants to come down. Go and change uh, the expo. I'll put a little bit more in there, and it's too much. In fact, let's change the travel as well. Right now, on 80% travel on the ailerons, eighteen percent expo. I think it's in too rough a grass to come back. Well, perhaps not. Get it back over here and save me juice for flight. Ooh. Right, it just felt a little bit numb, that was all. The ailerons, hence landing it to sort that out. Rather be comfortable with it than uncomfortable. It's a nice flying model though, gents. If anyone's interested in getting one, it's a little bit of work, but well worth it. Okay, feels clear. Here we go again. So it's only just sufficient power to fly it. Having saying that, it, once you've got the power up there, it, it flies really, really nice at half throttle. I'm just pulling it there, it's just under half throttle. Let's do a low pass on the way back up. I'm not that low. It's 
a bit of a dodgy field this there's turbulence everywhere there's lots of little uh, hills and descents that create lift Sounds nice with the wind going over it, whistles. I'm having to be really hands on here mixing the uh, rudder and ailerons a lot. Coming to land now, guys. I'm down on the power. I think it's the battery as well. The battery is not the best one in the world. There we go. We're down. Sort saying out about them rattly wheels as well. Yeah, that's it. Safe cut off. All done. But there you go. That was very enjoyable. Swings around really, really nice. The only way I can describe it, any other model that I've got I can describe it to, is a, uh, is a de Havilland Beaver. Yeah, you've got to swing it around quite a lot on the rudder and then just sort of use the ailerons to compensate. But yeah, it feels, uh, it feels smaller to fly than what it is, which is uh, a plus point for me. It's got a good size in here, as I said in the last video. But yeah, really happy with that. Let's just get a couple of new lipos and uh, we can have a few flights at a time. Anyway, thanks for watching guys.